This is the last place I'd expect to see Knights of the Flaming Rose. They're here with Radovid. After losing their foothold in Temeria, they rebuilt their position at the Redanian court. You best stay out of sight. You never know with those bigots. Yeah, we also had a little disagreement recently. They could be holding a grudge. I'll explain that your presence in Loch Muin is necessary. What now? What can we expect to see in the city? Separate camps, buffer zones, and frequent patrols. Well, that's how it should be organized if those mages from the Conclave have any sense. Ah, another area of your expertise. The Peace of Sintra was signed on April the 2nd, and all around was quiet, calm, and orderly. If you don't count Henselt's rules and the all-night festivities of the Mahakam Volunteer Army, and the common folk were positively thrilled with the parade that followed. Yet, not one of those fuckers even knew that I, and a few others like me, spent a week poring over the city map and devising a way to keep those crowned idiots separate, just in case one decided to deal the next blow in a long-standing feud. In any case, I hope to see something similar here. Relax. The mages want royal gold. They'll make sure all the sources of financing remain alive and present, at least until the inevitable quarrel over the Pontar Valley breaks out. Well, we'll see if there is indeed a way where there's a will. If we're separated, we'll meet up again in the main square. Fine. To the real murderer. Halt! And who might you be? That's Geralt of Rivia, the man I mentioned. So you did. Question is, where's the truth in all this? Everyone says the Witcher killed Foltest. You're the only one claiming he didn't. You shouldn't even be here. Radovid invited us. What exactly are you doing here? That's none of your concern. Be along with you. Looks like Radovid doesn't believe the peace talks will end peacefully. You can be sure of one thing. Not a soul is to be trusted in this city. Not a soul to be trusted any time, anywhere. I remember Period. you through Vizier. We need to assess the situation. Whoever stationed the knights at Lock Moon's I remember gates, you is likely to know the than to have the upper hand. Renounce witchery Regardless. and repent. May the eternal fire light your way. I shall pray for you. Regardless. Renounce witchery and repent. Blessed be. Renounce witchery and repent. Regardless. Greetings. Regardless. I shall pray for you. <laughs> Greetings. Regardless. Incense. Immortal light. Renounce witchery. I remember you from Vizina. I'm going to the Redanian camp. If you want to look around, I'll meet you near Radovid's headquarters. All right.
volumes vibrating. We met. Morning, men. Morning. How's bells? Who do we have here? Witcher Geralt, the seeker of square coins. What do you want? Last time, Zivik stuck his nose in. This time, he's not around. Fight! Company fall in. Tension! Know what attention means? You oh. Where are you from? You got shot us for free. That is. We all serve the Emperor, be it in Milkar or here. Faithfully and effectively. If anyone I get you, snitch. Don't try this again. Do well by the Emperor, and the Emperor will do well by you. You shot. Understood, ladies? Long live the Emperor! Emperor! Formation! 
Forward march! Ready for your chat with Radovid. No reason to delay it. Follow me then. Halt! We're here to meet King Radovid. Have you been granted an official audience? We have information about the Kingslayers. Everyone knows the killer is the Witcher from Rivia. Then everyone is wrong. Not my concern. I cannot risk placing the King of Redania in harm's way. We bring Radovid news that will strengthen his position during the talks. Care to risk his wrath? Besides, this camp is swarming with soldiers. We'd have to be stupid or suicidal to attack Radovid. Hmm. Pass, then, if your news is so important. But one word from the King and you'll hang. Both of you. Don't you worry about us. Tamaria stands little chance of surviving if Radovid has made terror of the king. Even less if he's made a pact with Nilfgaard. He and the Emperor could divide the entire north between them. I take pleasure in seeing Kidwin picked apart. But they'd start with the country deepest in chaos, so you'd best hope nothing of that sort has happened. Did you request an audience with the king? Yes. The king will receive you. Geralt of Rivia. Your Majesty. As usual, you turn up where and when you're least expected. And in such company. I never thought they'd make a soldier out of you. Vernon Roach is a friend. He's in uniform, sure. But that's meaningless. The world has changed greatly since we met those few months ago. Temeria stands at the brink of civil war. Kedwin has taken the Ponsar Valley by force, and a Nilfgaardian delegation plays a prominent role at the summit of the Northern Kingdoms. Voltest and Demavend are both dead. Though it seems we were signing treaties just yesterday. Hensult was butchered in Vergen. What's the delegation from Nilfgaard doing here? Hensult invited them. Before he died. Shillard Fitzestelon would never miss an opportunity like this one. He'll come to the talks and stage his favorite drama. Why did you bring the Knights of the Order here, Your Majesty? The Order of the Flaming Rose is here to ensure that the talks remain peaceful. We wish to avoid a second Thanet. I've come here for help, Your Majesty. Wait, Witcher. Were it not for you, Hensolt would have perished at the hands of an assassin. Am I right? I only delayed his death. Do you know how he died? I wasn't there. The first lie of the day, and the negotiations have yet to begin. How can I help you if you're not honest with me? I killed him. Hanselt had Roach's unit murdered. I can't call it anything else. In doing that, he signed his own death sentence. When he was looking for Saskia in Vergen after the battle, I cornered him in a hut and I killed him. What about Deathmold? He followed orders and deserves the same. 
Maybe we can come to some sort of arrangement. You said you needed help, Witcher. Tell me more. If Temeria is in turmoil, then who has arrived to represent it? Constable Natalis, the hero of Brenner, which is good. His presence is like a slap on Shillard's face delivered by the North. Who's representing Kedwin? Only the sorcerer Deathmold and his men are in Loch Muin. But Deathmold represents himself. Sheila de Tanzerville is behind the murderers that hit Temeria, Edern, and Kedwin. How do you know? We killed one of them in Edern. Deathmold used his magic to give me a glimpse of the past. I saw the assassin talking to others. They spoke of Sheila. One mage's magic shows another's guilt. And it's no ordinary magic, but the forbidden path of necromancy. It all makes sense. Shillard Fitzestelin warned me about a plot. Apparently, Triss Merigold confessed to him that the sorceresses had set up a secret lodge. Triss is working with Shillard? She's been detained as a suspect. Shillard believes the sorceresses of Nilfgaard were also part of the conspiracy. Luckily, the entire amphitheater is under a spell that quells any magic. Otherwise, no one would dare go near all those mages. Well, the talk's beckon. Everyone wants to see Temeria's bitter end. What do you mean by that, Your Majesty? The nobles are rebelling in Vizima. Lacking a ruler, they simply want to divide the kingdom into provinces. Divide Temeria! Shame on the traitors! Well, it doesn't have to be that way. Anais, the daughter of Louisa and Foltest, lives still. After Foltest's death, the Lavalettes came to prominence. Louisa's uncle, Baron Orval, became one of the most important people in Temeria. He wanted to see Anais on the throne, but Vizima was still in turmoil. They sent her to Loch Muin anyway to declare her queen before the entire north. During the journey, the girl was kidnapped. Arian Lavalette asked me to use my connections to find his sister, which I did. My people tell me Anais is here in Loch Muin, in Deathmold's hands. I cannot mount an armed attack on the Kudwenis. It would be tantamount to declaring war, and we have gathered here to maintain peace. A lone witcher and a former soldier. That would be a different matter. Bring me Anais, Geralt, and I'll salvage a united Temeria and punish those whose hands are stained with the Temerian King's blood. I heard Arian died in the fire that consumed Lavalette Castle. We all thought so, and we were all wrong. The girl is most important, Witcher. I denounce our engagement and make her queen of Redania and Temeria. The nobles of Vizima would greet her on bended knee, and the North would emerge stronger than ever. I must attend these talks, Geralt. Time is short. Bring me the girl, the two of you. Men without country or commander. Renegades that no one seems to have taken into account. I, in turn, promise that Shilla de Tanzerville will pay for her deeds. I shall punish her with fire and steel. An alliance with Redania is our only chance of preserving Temeria's independence. It's still risky. Anais, she's the key. I still wonder about Boosie's death. The boy would have had a stronger claim to the throne. Maybe Anais can tell us something. It's high time we visited our old friend, Deathmold. The Emperor's men hold Triss. They'll get everything they can out of her, after which she'll be dispensable. If it's between the Sorceress's life and Temeria's future, then I've no choice. I'm sorry. This is the worst at all. Let's wait till we're beyond the gate. What do you want here? Whoa!
Just the person I'd be looking for were I not forced to seek Anaïs Lavalette. You have much to explain, Brigida Papabrock. Oh no. You'll not pin this on me. I trusted you and you sent me into a den of vipers. Vipers! Another mess? This is no time for pleasantries, Geralt. Calm yourself, Brigida. You were to watch Falter's children. I saw nothing dangerous in the task. Obviously, I was wrong. But I need your help. Anais has been kidnapped. Boosie is likely dead. I need to know how this happened. I need to know the details. You knew well what you were getting me into. You know that entire rotting bunch. The Count, the Baron. Not half as well as you do, my dear. Who were those men? Not so fast, Roach. I have been hiding in this city for three days, scurrying about like a rat. They're hunting me. I'll not let you leave me here. What do you propose? Escort me out of the city, to the river. What will that get you? I expected I would need to fend for myself. I've secured passage. Take me there, and I will tell you all. It's a long way. You've a traitor in your camp, Roach. Perhaps more than one. What happened to Faltist's bastards is no series of coincidences. It's the result of a clever, treacherous game. Damn it all. Geralt, I need to look to Anais, learn how we're to get to her. But Brigida might know what happened to Boosie. Thus far, we've heard nothing but rumors. Take her to the river. All right, Roach. I'll help you this one last time. I'll search for a back way into the Kedwini camp. You're forgetting. I came here for Triss. Whatever you decide to do later, so be it. But a traitor in the Temerian camp threatens us all. Escort Brigida, learn what you can. I'd thank you, Roach, if you weren't such a shit. I'm counting on you, Geralt. Brigida must get to her destination safely. Good luck, Roach. Which way are we headed? We shall leave Loch Muin through the Order's camp. We won't be bothered there. Then we'll descend the mountain path and go onto the river. Who knows what we'll find? Geralt the Rivian! Did mention the vipers. Eat Maravell and Kimbo. Blessed be the eternal fire. I guess I have been to bed for a waste of chat, which I had a while back. Well. Too early to cry, Witcher. I'll not let you pick my brain and abandon me. to be waiting. Roach would say they'd be waiting for both paths. Roach, Roach, Roach. You're with me, not him. And I decide for myself. I need to meet someone on the riverbank. We'll go through the wood. Calm thus far. Your dear Roach seems to have been wrong. You two have a history. Or do I have it wrong? He asked a favor of me. I was to stay with Faltist's children, watch them, travel with them if necessary. Child's play, the bastard called it. That's how I wound up in the caravan transporting the children to Loch Muin for the summit. Hmm. Yeah, that clearly went sour. Tell me more. Soon enough. We've just got to make it through the forest. It's a short way to the river beyond that. It should be calm. Let's go. It's not far now. Redlin awaits down by the river, at the end of this path. Is Redlin another of Roach's contacts? No, a smuggler. I'd be looking for another way out if he were Roach's man. Stay behind me. Roaches, bitch! Kill them! Oh, fight the dust!
roaches, bitch! Kill them! This is the smuggler I spoke of. This was the smuggler you spoke of. Someone's coming. 
You'll not sail off, you whore. Kill her. <laughs> you. I'd not have survived on my own. Talk, woman. You've dragged me far away from the city. You owe me an explanation. Who were those men? Who have you been hiding from? I... I don't know. Three days like a rat, you said. And you don't know? I knew. I mean, I had my suspicions. So talk. Who's out to kill you? I don't know. There you go again. Truly, I cannot be sure. At first I thought it was revenge for the children, but he knows I'm no traitor. It's not Roach. We both know that. Yes, yes. You're right. What happened to the convoy carrying Anais and Busi? What about the children? We were ambushed. The caravan was destroyed. I need details. We were traveling along the agreed path with a limited escort so as not to draw attention. The children were in two separate wagons, a safety measure, I was told. Which one were you in? I was with Anais. One day a messenger appeared with orders for the caravan's commander, a change of plans. We turned north to travel a longer route for safety's sake. Soon after the turnoff, we were attacked. Attackers were killing everyone indiscriminately. One pulled me from the wagon, but a bolt pierced his neck. It was mayhem. I ran for the bushes and hid. Did you see what happened to the children? The driver of Booty's wagon was shot. The horses got spooked and ran off into the forest, taking the wagon with them. When the fighting was done, they found Anais still in her wagon. I turned away for fear of what they might do. They nearly grabbed her and fled. Any idea what happened to the caravan commander's orders? I have them. After they took Anais, the bastards were in a hurry. They didn't even think to search the corpses. Take them. Thanks. Sure you can manage that boat? I must. I'll not return to the city. Thank you again, Witcher. And follow this through. You'll do us all a favor. Blessed be the eternal fire. In its radiance, we live. I remember you from visions. Regards.
stop looking at me? I believe there's been a misunderstanding, my lord. Get out before I call my guards. And what might I convey? Nothing. Baron, sir, you gave your word. For the last time, out! Tend to this matter. Baron Raven and Kimbolt, I presume. Does that witcher's code of yours exempt you from court etiquette? Does it grant you the right to speak to the Highborn without being asked to do so? I guess I don't need to introduce myself. Oh no. I know who you are. Geralt of Rivia. Fortest's other favorite hound alongside Roach. Not purebred. They say you bring trouble wherever you appear. They're gonna re-establish the Conclave. Didn't expect so many Temerians to show up for the ceremony. We're not here for some magic pomp and circumstance. This is about celebrating a new order in the Northern Kingdoms. Is that so? Your kind doesn't understand this yet, but your life is about to change. Forever, my kind. Wanderers and scoundrels. People, and I use the term loosely, without loyalty or country. People for whom coin is the law and everything's for sale. What'll happen to Temeria? Is that a note of nostalgia I hear in your voice? Remembering your service under Faultist or recalling some romp in the sack with the royal advisor? Whichever it may be, spare me your courtesy. You don't care a lick about my country. I asked out of concern for a friend. I came here with Vernon Roach. I know. We royal hounds like to stick together. Understand this. I'm talking to you only out of respect for Fortest, out of remembrance for him. I haven't seen much evidence of that remembrance, aside from the rewards on my head. They'd have hanged you if not for the testimony of little Anais. So the girl finally talked. Whoever that monk was, to me, he was just like you. I take it you sit on the Council of Regents? Not for much longer. Why's that? The council will become obsolete. Temeria is a country one rules with a crown on one's head, or not at all. A lot of people are out to don that crown. But few have the right. As Fultis' cousin, the throne should be mine. Or the royal daughters, Anais Lavalette's. Dark will be the day when we are ruled by bastards. The nobles have decided to share power. You said it yourself, Baron. In a crown or not at all. Temeria will be divided into provinces. A shameful end to the monarchy. A shameful end to the country. Who was that thug I passed in the doorway? He's of no concern to you. People like him sometimes do stupid things. Did I ask for your opinion on the matter? I take it you sit on the Council of Regents. Not for much longer. The Council will be- A lot of people- But few- Or the- Dark- the no you said to marry the convoy carrying Anais and Busi was ambushed. Why? I'd like to know that myself. I've seen your letter to Horst Lubbock, the one in which you ordered him to abandon the planned route. Nonsense! I sent no such letter. The letter bears your seal and signature, Baron. Where is it? I have it. Show me. You'll have to take my word. The word of a wandering monster slayer means nothing to me. If that's the situation, I've said all I have to say. I wrote no such letter. Words come cheap, Baron. I'm finding it hard to believe you. I care little for what you believe. If this letter exists, we are dealing with a forgery. Whoever is behind this has crossed a Temerian noble, and will be duly punished. My scribe will test the letter and confirm what I claim. All right. I'll see what this scribe has to say. There are objective means of examining the letter's authenticity. I promise to pay you well for learning the truth. Hmm. The truth does taste better when payment's involved.
It's you. Sure. Sure. The king of reagents won't get anything out of him. Maybe there's something about testing letters in his notes. Young alchemist, do as you order. I don't know any of these substances. Best not risk destroying the letter. Maybe there's a formula for the activator in the scribe's notes. I need to make the substance that will bring out the dye and apply it to the letter. It's you! We know you didn't kill him. Evil Eye! Roach may trust you, but I'm not so sure. What do you want? There's a traitor among the Temerians. Careful, Witcher. You'd better have evidence if you plan to accuse someone of treason. Boosie and Anais. Yes? Anais was kidnapped on Baron Kimbolt's orders. Have you any proof? A letter I got from Brigitte Pepperbrock. Dame Pepperbrock is alive? Yeah. She's far away by now. Kimbolt's signature and official seal. It does appear the Baron arranged everything. I'm grateful to you, Witcher. So you see, Count, I find myself in an unenviable position. One in which I require the support of your forces in arresting Baron Kimbolt. Baron Kimbolt, a child slayer. Gods protect us. Can I rely on you, Count? The very thought of standing against a highborn peer fills me with trepidation. But a crime this cruel cannot go unpunished. Consider myself and my forces at your disposal, John Natalis. It's you!
What's he doing here? It's you! <sighs> Greetings, Renounce Hansen. magic, I tell you! Shatter your towers and crystal walls. Break your arm. Oh. Greetings. I don't like it here. It's a brazen attack. King Radovid will learn of this. Radovid sent them, you idiot! The audacity! Pull your... Hmm? What do you want? The mages are making a country fair out of this summit. They're parasites who'll stop at nothing to get into the king's treasuries. Death Mold's one of them. He'll be on their side, and Kedwin's vote should count for a lot. Though Henselt would have quickly shown them reason. He was a great ruler. They're also going to discuss what to do, given the assassinations. Aye, the new world order. You know the drill. I see all those cowardly, petty knights and bloody mages, and wonder where the human race is going. Forward. Blindly, down a steep slope. You're not in the Kedweni camp? Those Redanian pigs tricked us, as usual. They took the best buildings, leaving us the rat-infested ruins. It's better out here in the square. A right good show. Messengers running back and forth, delegates grinning at each other while thinking of slitting each other's throats, and lots of gold changing hands. A lot of armed men around. The kingdoms are trying to look menacing. People like me will soon have work to do. Nice to meet an optimist. Really raises the spirit. This would nip. Water! Ugh! Warriors. You're no Prince Charles. Leave the royal court. I'm Geralt. Brass of Bannard. I remember you from Thanad. I believe I saw you in Oxenfurt, too. Seems we only ever meet on Elvenland. Indeed. But I suspect you're not here to chat about Elven ruins. On the contrary, I find Elven ruins interesting. Do you really? Elven works are not half as interesting as gnomish ones. 
But even ruined, Loch Muin is impressive. It must have been beautiful in the times of the First Conclave. Everything was better before the war, as they say. The sources, those children that old Geoffrey Monk brought here to train in the magic arts, must have walked around gaping at all they saw. Somehow I just can't imagine Hen Gedimdeeth as a small gawking boy. You met him? Ah, right, on Thamid. His death was a terrible loss. Terrible. You see, Geralt, everyone complains about how the world is taking a turn for the worse. Values are being compromised. The small is dislodging the great. Exactly. But the events on Thanet truly marked the end of an era. The world grew up, losing its virginity in a rape. What use are masters of magic and legendary heroes to a grown-up world? They're of no use. That's the point. Today, people manage perfectly well without mages, witches, and heroes. Yet not everyone understands that, and not everyone likes it. You're so clever, you'll get in trouble. We'd best change the subject. Actually, I'm here because of your weapon expertise. I'm no expert. You're the best swordsmith among mages. I'm more interested in the cultural relics of other races, actually. I'm going to need a solid cultural relic in my hand. I guess the circumstances require haste. Tell me what you know about those gargoyles that are bothering you. They were servants of the mages who once lived in Loch Muin. The mages left, but the gargoyles remained behind. They're still lethal. The quarters they guard are simply inaccessible. Tell me what they were sent. Tell me what you know of. Special. You are to guard the camp like it's the Emperor's treasure. Yes, Your Excellency. Look who's here, the Rivian Witcher. Greetings. Our paths cross often, it seems. Too often. What do you seek here? Triss Marigold. In the Nilfgaardian camp? Fistek has addled your brain. Uh-uh. Lower your sword, son. You've got cheek, Geralt. Let's go. Get One false move and your ambassador will never see Nilfgaard's son again. My men won't let you leave here alive. They will if you ask them to, Excellency, and I believe you will. Reynold Epp Madsen's orders come from the Emperor himself. He'd rather die than give you very gold. Then you'll die. No. Uh. Out of the way, all of you, or the old man dies. Hold there! I'm not joking. I know. And I advise you not to hesitate. Kill him. For we shan't move one bit. Renoir! He who brings me the Witcher's head will get the Order of Merit. But Ambassador Fitz Estelin. Your Excellency. Orders from the capital. Now I'll have to kill you all. What are you waiting for? Get him! Long live the Emperor! 
Did you really think you could just prance in here? Make the Emperor proud! Kill him!
Die, Nordling! The Imperial Army's ranks are endless! Did you really think you could just prance in here? Make the Emperor proud! Kill him! Die, Nordling!
Congratulations, Witcher. They were my best men. You should have picked them more carefully, or trained them better. Or perhaps they were ready for any foe but you. Free Triss, or join them. You amaze me. How can you risk your life for a witch? She has information that's very important to me. Ah, that I understand. You're exceptionally reasonable for a Nordling. Thanks. 
It means a lot to hear you say that. It should, because I in turn have information about her, which you may find interesting. What are you talking about? Your friend and the other witches conspired against your rulers. How do you know that? From the best possible source. She confessed. And how did you convince her to do that? By showing her the confessions of other Lodge members. I don't believe you. That's irrelevant at this point. During our chat, my people managed to regroup, call for reinforcements. Maybe now they'll start fighting like men. Time to show them the Empire's true power. Surround him! Long live the
failed you. Geralt? Oh. Didn't expect to see me. Are you kidding? The only person you expect to see in a Nilfgaardian dungeon is the Executioner. Did they torture you? They tried various... things. But they got nothing from me. When I left Flotsam with Vernon, I somehow doubted I'd find you so soon. I know it was hard on you. I'll never forget this, you hear? Never. you ask your friends from the Lodge for help? How do you know I'm the Lodge? I just do. Listen, Triss, to come here for you, I had to split up with Vernon. Temeria is in danger of disintegrating. Are you sorry you chose to come here? No, I'm not. But freeing you from Shillard's grasp was not my only reason for coming here. I need you to explain your role in this mess. And to explain why you lied to me. That's not true. I know about the Lodge. I know the Lodge was behind Demavent's assassination. I know Triss Marigold is a member of the Lodge. It's not like that. Show me the error in my reasoning. True. I'm a member of the Lodge. Just like eight other sorceresses. But if you think I'm responsible for the Lodge's actions, you're badly mistaken. The Lodge is a theater for two actresses. Sheila and Philippa have long dominated it. To the point where you didn't know about the murder they planned? To the point where I was no longer invited to gatherings. Why? They stopped trusting me. Because you didn't agree with them? Nine women very rarely agree on anything. The actual problem was that... Tell me. I was close to you. If Sheila fears anyone, it's Geralt of Rivia. The Lodge did everything to convince me that our relationship didn't bother them, even that it suited them. But they manipulated me. Through me, they fed you select information. Depending on the circumstances, they twisted facts. We're still close. They could still be doing it. Don't insult me. I'd say the same thing in your place. I'm telling you the truth! You have no idea how much I want to believe you. But you've lied once. Why wouldn't you do it again? I never lied to you. I just didn't tell you everything. How is that not lying? I didn't know the truth. I had suspicions, that's all. And once I was finally certain, it was too late. I can prove everything. Now, you'll tell me everything you know. I need to learn the truth. All existing councils of mages disintegrated after the Thanad massacre. We all acted separately. Philippa decided to create a new organization. A secret one this time. When I was sworn in, it never crossed my mind that the Lodge's plans would soon become secret to its members. As you know, Philip is not one for minor undertakings. She presented a plan for creating a powerful state controlled by sorceresses. No wonder the kings are opposing the sorceresses. Nobody likes a schemer. Philippa and Sheila never lacked ideas or enthusiasm. To control a powerful state, they needed to create one first. Or find a wealthy land with a suitable political arrangement and an easily manipulated ruler. Sheila chose the Pontar Valley, Demavend, and Stennis. Demavend hated mages. No more than Henselder Radovid. Sheila and Philippus saw Demavend as the weakest ruler. 
His son, Stannis, blows hot and cold. Plus, he who controls the Pontar Valley controls the North. So it was in Edirne that a popular rebel emerged preaching the idea of a new state. At one of our meetings, I just asked how they imagined overthrowing Demavend. That was the last time I was invited. After Demavend's death, I became suspicious but had no evidence. Philippa brushed me off. When you went off to meet Yorveth and Sheila was busy with the Karen's carcass, I managed to scan parts of her megascope. That's when I learned that Sheila had dealings with Letho. Why didn't you tell me? I wanted to. We never met after that. Letho must have shadowed me when I entered Sheila's room. Then he forced me to teleport us to somewhere near Vergen. Did you talk to him? He wasn't aggressive. In Vergen, he told me that Sheila commissioned them to assassinate Demavend. Them being the witchers of the School of the Viper. Sheila helped them prepare the assassination. I wonder why he told you about it. Is that important? Conspirators who suddenly divulge everything? I'd be suspicious. There was some interference as we teleported to Edirne. I emerged intact, but pretty battered. I knew Philippa was in the area. I decided to go see her and lay my cards on the table. Maybe Letho wanted just that. I met a woman at Philippa's house. Thought she was just a servant or Philippa's lover. Before I could speak, I was overpowered by spells. I hardly expected an attack. The pain I felt as my body was compressed. It's indescribable. As if all my bones were being broken. It's even worse when you return to your true form. In any case, Philippa had no idea her lover was a Nilfgaardian spy. I was carried as that figurine all the way to Loch Muin. Asira decompressed me back just before they murdered her. Shillard interrogated me, but learned nothing. If it wasn't for you, they'd have had me quartered. I didn't piece the puzzle together until I was here, in the dungeon. Now you know everything. Did Saskia know the Lodge's plans? She didn't even know the Lodge existed. Philippa told her that the sorceresses would support an independent state in the Pontar Valley, no strings attached. A fairy tale, but Saskia bought it. Saskia backed Philippa, and the people backed Saskia. Who had Foltest assassinated? I have no idea. Perhaps after Demavend's successful assassination, Sheila and Philippa decided to take the next step. That would be stupid. Killing Demavend was a way to take control of the Pontar Valley. People would forget the regicide in a year, and the Lodge could put its plan in motion. They had to know that if Foltest died, men like Roach wouldn't rest until they learned why that had happened. One thing is certain. Letho killed Foltest, and Sheila was working with Letho. Ever find out what Sheila was actually doing in Flotsam? I find it hard to believe she went there just to kill a monster and earn a few horns. You're right, of course. It had something to do with Letho and the Scoyatel. What did she want from Yorveth? The Scoyatel were Saskia's trump card. I expect Sheila needed to know what the elves would do, given that a war with Hensel was practically inevitable. That'll have to do for now. We'll learn more at the talks. You're going to attend? You have no memory of how the world worked before the Thanid Massacre. Actually, I know exactly how it worked. That means... We'll talk about my memory later. All right. If the Council and Conclave still existed, kings wouldn't be assassinated and massacres would be less frequent. This is our chance to restore these institutions, and we shouldn't miss it. Normalizing relations between the rulers and the mages who advise them is our only chance for peace. And our only chance to dismantle the Lodge. The Lodge will disintegrate anyway. Once the kings learn it was behind the assassinations, they'll start a witch hunt. We can prevent that from happening. I'm all for punishing the guilty, but can't abide collective responsibility. I'm ready to go and reveal everything I know about Philippa Isleheart, Sheila de Tanserville, and their schemes. Let's go then.
We shouldn't arrive at the same time. Let's split up. The Lodge remembers too. Rest assured I won't let anyone compress me again. Some of the sorceresses will be surprised to see you. Watch them closely. Don't worry, I'll manage. See you at the talks. All right. Let me guess. Behold, the mighty Numa, and I am his apprentice. Way to spoil my fun. The mighty Numa breaks the necks of bulls, bends iron bars, defeats everyone. Numa. His secret lies in the mushroom. Very unobservant or very rude. I thought I'd meet mages on you. They've all I'd like to come back for a game sometime. I don't like you. Stay away. What? Renounce magic, I Good tell you. Shatter your towers and crystal walls. Break your walls. It's a brazen attack. King Radovid will learn of this. Mm -hmm. Greetings. Nice place. Many thanks for the compliment. Welcome to the Eternal Fire. Kitchen open day and night? It's not that kind of fire. Only... Never happen if the conclave still existed. And if Grandma had a moustache, she'd be a catfish. We must protest with all our power. Tell me what you know. They were servants of the, the mages left. The court.
What do you want? Hey there! It's a lovely day today. Greetings, whoever you are. I'm collecting information about the Wild Hunt. Help me out. The Wild Hunt? A retinue of wraiths who speed across the heavens upon skeletal horses. Positive proof of its existence has yet to be proffered. However, no one is prepared to deny its occasional sorties into this world. Proffered? Sorties? That, at least, is what I remember from the lectures. Shatter your towers and crystal walls. The black cat and the bat. May the triple Owl. goddess watch over and the rat.
You lose, Sonic. Are you the mighty Numa? Who's asking? Someone who wants to see if your nickname suits you. Then come to the circus and watch me rip off the plowing chains wrapped round my body. You've got a big mouth. And you've pissed off the mighty Numa. Put down your coin and give me your hand. I've always been the curious sort. They say which Pangrat warned me that you cheat. What would that slut for sale know about the mighty Numa? I expect sluts for sale know the likes of you best. Fact is, you could only get that kind of strength from potions. Fuck you! You're as loaded with potions as squirrel shit is with nuts! I was clean during our bout. You're a con. They should call you Numa the Cheater. One more word and I'll shove your tongue so deep down your throat it'll come out your arsehole! How will you do that? You'll lose your coordination when you're headless. Why the aggro? I don't need any aids. I'm still the best without them. You lose. I'm looking... You can... You I don't... I've always... Malitalized tits! No one's ever beaten me! There's always a first time. If I give you something, will you keep this to yourself? The circus finds out I lost, they'll can me. The mighty Numa must be invincible. Take this and keep your trap shut. Please. All right. Thanks. Anything on the wild hunt in your collection? I'd avoid the topic altogether. Nothing good has ever come to those who have delved. I'll take my chances. I need to know why the wraiths carry off youths. What happens to them? This knowledge has never been recorded, which does not mean it cannot be acquired. Well, I'd like to acquire it. In the chasms beneath Loch Muin, there is a sword that once belonged to an elf from the parallel world. And nobody's gone to look for it? There are mages who seek it still, but the sword is well concealed. They say he who handles it will understand the essence of the wild hunt. Could that be true, though? I'd like to play dice poker. I venture to say you don't stand a chance again.
I... Welcome. I'm Elona, the bearded she-elf. Bearded? Don't be a child. We came here to perform, but this place is a circus in itself. Nobody's interested in us, so we're on to plan B. Trade. What do you sell? Food. Fresh. Very good. You want to buy something, or are you waiting for my beard to grow out? Fine. I'll bite. Show me your beard. I'll pay your full performance fee. That'll be 200 orans. Want to buy something, or are you waiting for my beard to grow out? Bye. Prepare for your final lesson. Final? But I'll have no Geralt discussion. Of Rivia. Greetings. Please help yourself. Are you thirsty or hungry? Please, help yourself. Have a nice stay in Loch Muin. So, even the Nilf We're about to witness a great event. Yeah, I can't wait. Let's go inside. It's now or never. In recent weeks, we have deliberated extensively in Vizima on who is to succeed to the Temerian throne. Because the fate of Foltest's last child remains unknown, we could not reach an agreement. Unable to reconcile the interests of the esteemed Temerian houses, we have no choice but to divide the country into provinces along the Barony's current borders. This cannot be, John Natalis. Temeria stands between Nilfgaard and the North. It must be a strong and united realm. I too would wish it so, Your Majesty. But when Foltest was cut down by an assassin, the country's very heart burst. I have learned that Anais Lavalette is currently in the hands of the sorcerer Deathmold. Clearly you have yet to learn of the slaughter that occurred today in the Kedweni camp, King Radovid. Yet there is hope if the child lives. I shall do everything in my power to find her. Simultaneously, I wish to announce that the commander of the Temerian Special Forces, one Vernon Roach, is officially a wanted man. All privileges appertaining to him as an officer of the realm are hereby repealed. To the matter at hand. The document describing the charter of the Council and the Conclave is, as previously ascertained, an exact copy of the charter found in the ruins on Thaned Island. The more important question relates to the Conclave and its power to designate royal advisers. Today, randomly chosen majors and sorceresses reside at many courts. However, in the time of the previous Conclave, such persons were carefully chosen. Why shouldn't we pick our own advisors? These individuals bear great responsibility, Your Majesty. The Conclave needs to be certain they are competent. And that they will keep the Conclave's interests in mind. Obviously, sire. The Conclave's chief interest is the well-being and prosperity of the Northern Kingdoms. The document has been signed by every member of the Conclave we have proposed as well as by all but one of the designated advisors. We await only Sheila de Tanserville's signature. Without our royal seals, you should be allowed to designate advisors to Cowherd at most. 
That is true, Your Majesty. Sheila de Tanserville should never be allowed to sign this document. Triss Marigold, you decided to join us after all. De Tanserville has royal blood on her hands. She can't sit on the Conclave. That is a lie. Have you anything to support these claims, Marigold? There are witnesses who will confirm that Sheila de Tanserville was behind the assassinations of Demethend and Foltest. Officials of the future Council and Conclave. Sheila de Tanzerville should be arrested and tried. If Triss Marigold speaks the truth, Lady de Tanzerville will be condemned to death. Sheila de Tanzerville, until Triss Marigold's charges are dismissed or refuted, you cannot sit on the conclave. Arrest her. You don't know the whole truth. Marigold doesn't know what she's talking about. you can, Witcher. You can't stop me. Not you, not anyone else. If I have to, I will kill you. I've already managed to stabilize the portal. You've got nowhere to run. Sooner or later, somebody will find you. I prefer to leave on my own terms. Where's Letho? Sir Sempasis will tend to him, as she will to all the fools who get a hard on at the mere thought of burning a sorceress at the stake. Where is he? I don't know, fool. I've been looking for him since Foltest's assassination. Letho cheated all of us. We were deceived by his dull face and sluggish stare. Don't you understand? The Lodge sought a way to get rid of Demavend, that's true. He was a weak, volatile king. Edern would eventually choke to death under his rule. We chose the lesser evil. He had to be eliminated, and Letho happened to be at hand. Voltest? Henselt? We had nothing to do with that. After assassinating Demavend, Letho used our gold and magical support to find and meet Yorve. The elf was to help him hide until the matter blew over, or so I thought. The Lodge did not condemn Fotes to die. Then who did? Nilfgaard. Letho is the King of Liars and Emperor of Traitors. From the start, he worked for the glory of the Great Sun and the White Flame dancing on the graves of his foes. He lied to everyone. Me, Yorveth, your stupid little Triss. And you. Got any evidence? A moment ago, I received a message from the Lodge's agent in Sintra. The Imperial Army is on the move. They're fording the Yoruga now. Do you think the North can defend itself in the current situation? But can you count on another miracle at Brenner? I don't know, but you made it all possible and you'll answer for that. 
The stigma of treason is yours for all time. We shall see. For no one will leave this city alive. No one will tell this story. Philippa controls the dragon. As soon as I disappear, it will turn the city into a flaming tomb. The dragon attacked Foltest's troops during the siege of Lavalette Castle. That hardly supports your tale. We did not control it then. We may have lost a battle, but the war is just beginning. You, however, shall not take part in it. This is your end, Witcher. Farewell! Something's not right! The diamond! Someone replace the diamond! This one's flawed! I'll be torn to bits! Geralt, remove it! The diamond! Remove the diamond! I'll give you anything you want!
Are you all right? More or less. And the dragon? I had to kill it, unfortunately. Unfortunately? Philippa enslaved the dragon with her magic. If I'd let it live, we'd surely find it serving the Lodge of Sorceresses. Many more would have died. Before the Sorceresses broke the creature's will, it was noble and beautiful in its own way. But I'm dead tired of having to choose the lesser evil. Let's get out of here. I guess Letho got away. He's waiting for you. Waiting? Hmm. Where the Temerians made camp. Come on. What do you mean, waiting? How do you know? Utter chaos broke out after the dragon attacked. I tried to reach Philippa's quarters. A terrified man approached me in one of the alleys, gave me a letter and begged me not to harm him. He said it was for you. The letter was short. I'm waiting in the Temerian camp. Letho. What happened here while I was gone? All the kings had many more armed men than they should have had at a peace summit. During the evacuation, several skirmishes broke out. The Kedwenis clashed with the Temerians. The Order's knights raped two sorceresses and killed those who dared try to help them. Do you think the Council and Conclave will survive? Well, they're established, and that's the only thing that prevented a wholesale massacre. Hard to say if they'll survive. But for the time being, no one's got any better ideas. Mages are part of this world, whether people like it or not. They have to have their rights, their place. Otherwise, another lodge will arise. Vernon Roach! Step away from the child. She's of royal blood. Temerian. Too good for you, Horsons. You're an outlaw, wanted in all the north. Hand over the child and perhaps the king will show you mercy. I piss on Kedwenny mercy. Roach! Triss! We can't let them have her! This is Falter's daughter! I've heard enough. Grab them! Oh, my God. 
I failed. Deathmalt got away. Thanks, Geralt. Triss needed my help. You know that. The Nilf Guardians outwitted us all. What are you talking about? They kidnapped Triss. The Emperor dispatched the Kingslayers using the Lodge as a decoy, all in order to breed chaos in the Northern Kingdoms. Temeria is lost. The Barons will pick it apart in the bits. It's not lost. Temeria will be reunited. Get the child out of here. Take her far away. Far from the kings, their courts, and their wars. One day, she'll reclaim her heritage. What about you, Geralt? I'm going after the Kingslayer. A man of his word. It's personal now. Farewell then, White Wolf. I trust we'll meet again in better times. Farewell, Roach. Where's Jorvid? How is Jorvid? Proud, I think. The reward on his head has never been greater. Those seeking him, the Scoia'tael hunters, will be reinforced. The special forces throughout the north will receive more resources. The council and the conclave are assigning several mages to the task. Yorveth is now public enemy number one. They won't rest until they find him. This is no place for witches. Though I know you, and you appear wherever something important happens. True, though sometimes by accident. And this time, also a coincidence? Let's say I have something to take care of. In that case, hurry. Once we're done cleaning up this mess created by the Royal Soldiery, Loch Muin will be magically sealed. Getting out of here? Temporarily. We shall return soon enough to rebuild the city. Loch Muin will regain its former glory. Until that time, we need to keep the treasure hunters and troublemakers out. So Radovid trusts you? We shall win His Royal Majesty's trust by delivering Sheila de Tanserville and the other traitresses from the Lodge. De Tanserville will be a problem. Admittedly. Sheila can be slippery as an asp, but we'll find her. You don't get it, Carduan. Sheila de Tanserville's dead, killed by an unstable portal. Shame. She was to be charged and tried. She would have been convicted of her crimes. Why does it sound like she was convicted before standing trial? It would have been a formality, true. And at once a warning to other sorceresses. Seems to me she led you down the garden path. Forgive me, I must attend to some matters. And don't dawdle, the city will be sealed in one hour. don't have to. I do. He knows how I lost my memory. Wait for me at the city gate. If I'm not there within the hour, leave without me. Took you a while? Is that bobble from Sheila's Megascope? Mm-hmm. My final prank. I switched the diamonds. The one in the Megascope has a flaw. Minute. But just large enough to warp the teleport. The Emperor's magic theorists assured me the effect would be spectacular. Oh, it was. Good. Had she lived, she would have suffered more intensely and much longer. She helped me quite a bit, through naivety and pride. I would not have gotten far without her. Hmm. So, ready to lay your cards out on the table? No matter the game, there comes a point when all the players need to show their cards. I love that moment, but first, Vodka. 
I suppose my throat's a little dry. In that case, let's drink to old friendships. Covered your memory yet? Not entirely. Remember how we first met? Yeah, I saved your life. Couldn't think of a nicer way to pay me back? Frankly, I couldn't. I mean, taking care of another man's woman, Yennefer. I can't fathom what you saw in her, but I suppose there's no accounting for taste. Back with me, friend. Got the feeling you left for a minute. Memories. I remember the hanged man's tree and the wild hunt. I remember the exchange. Me for Yennefer. So, cards out on the table. Unless you chase me all that way just to kill me. I chased you for lots of reasons. You owe me some explanations to start with. Let's say I do. Tell me about Yennefer. What happened after I departed? She was feverish for several days. Delirious. In agony. We thought that was it. She was on her way out. Somehow she recovered. But even then she was disoriented. Amnesia like you. What then? Well, the woman turned out to be quite a character. Throwing temper tantrums, trying to seduce orcs, trying to drive a wedge between us. After you so nobly sacrificed yourself, we thought it'd be dumb just to leave her somewhere. She wouldn't have survived more than a month. The whims and vigor of a duchess, but she was just a sorceress with no memory. We were in the heart of the Empire. And as I'm sure you know, Geralt, in Nilfgaard, mages who behave like that either drop their bad habits quickly, or are drawn and quartered by horses in the middle of Victory Square. So I heard. So we set out, wandered through the provinces. Everywhere we went, she got in trouble and we pulled her out. And then one day they captured us. The Imperial Secret Police. Me, Ark, Sarit, and Yennefer. Imperial Secret Police? Mm-hmm. We were separated, and they questioned us. Long and thoroughly. But it was uneventful. No violence. That's how I met Vatia Derrido. And a couple of weeks later, the Emperor himself. Me. A simple witcher. What happened to Yennefer? I don't know. Never saw her again. The Emperor offered me a mission in the Northern Kingdoms. As for Yennefer, I had the feeling she was somehow important to Emir. As I see it, they learned of the Lodge from her. Those Imperial spooks have their ways. All I heard is that Vatier had his men watch Yennefer closely throughout the time she was at the palace. Then we went off to slay the kings of the north. That's where my knowledge ends. So she's in the Empire? She was when I left. 
How did you know where we'd find the Wild Hunt? Every witcher who wears the viper around his neck knows the place. We had so many books and scrolls about the hunt that I used to think our school was founded for the very purpose of solving the riddle of the Spectral Riders. Know who they are? You know the true identities of the Riders? From what I understand, they're some damn elven race. But they turned out to be a big ruse. The legendary omen of war proved to be a fairground attraction. No Market Square mage could possibly conjure up a cavalcade of wraiths speeding across the sky. Then there's the amnesia. No, there's something more, I assure you. Go ahead, enlighten me. I can tell you want to. There are a lot of legends and myths about it, but the Wild Hunt is a fact. I've fought and killed many of its wraiths. They were spectral emanations, the avatars of real writers. The writers we ran into by the Hanged Man's Tree. Are you telling me you were carried off by elves? Real material sons of bitches like the ordinary kind we deal with in this world? They may be ordinary in their world, but they're strangers in ours. The conjunction of spheres, know the theory. Do you know how monsters appeared in our world? There's not a witcher who doesn't know that. So you know there are other spheres. The most powerful of our mages can open passages between these worlds, and they usually do that to summon the monsters we then have to hunt. The elves we saw come from another world, and they weren't summoned. They found the way on their own. It's not exactly easy, so they usually send their spectral emanations. They come in person on special missions. As they did for you and Yennefer. Mm -hmm. So elves from another world and their trained wraiths. What did they want from you? I've got an idea. But that's not your concern. How did a witcher agree to kill humans at another human's bidding? At the Emperor's bidding, Geralt. And he's no ordinary human. The rulers of the North come up to about where his Pauline's end. Why? Simple. He promised to rebuild the School of the Viper. The Witcher's Order, where I came to be. Witcher's schools in the South fell into ruin long ago. And Witcher's themselves became internal exiles, banned from entering most cities. Besides Seret and Ox, I know of two other Witchers of the School of the Viper who should be alive and on the path. I don't know where they are. Haven't seen them for years. Now they can come out of hiding. They can come home. Why are you still here? Why did you wait for me this time? I knew you wouldn't give up. I knew you'd pursue me. And I don't aim to hide anymore. Fact is, only you know the truth about me. Well, and a couple of folks whose word isn't worth spit anymore. I never saw you as a foe. I want to go my way. But if I have to fight you first, so be it. This story ends here and now. Care to tell me what it was all about? Hmm. Kill as many rulers as we could. Lay the blame on the sorceresses. Breed chaos. Prepare the north. Soften it before the invasion. And you know what's incredible? We could not have imagined more fertile soil. No matter what the war's outcome, the northern monarchs will accuse one another, pursue their God-given rights, seek vengeance and be at each other's throats for years to come. The north resembles a whorehouse on fire, as your friend Dandelion would say. Done talking. Let's finish this. Want to fight? Any vodka left in that bottle? A swig apiece. Here.
Imperial army is probably crossing the Yoruga as we speak. Pure pandemonium will ensue. The North is finished. Time to go south, where the good life awaits. You're a fool, Metho. Both you and your Emperor are forgetting one thing. Misfortune brings people together. Very shortly, the North could be united like never before, thanks to you. But that's just not my concern anymore. I'm not your foe. I never was. Let me walk away and I will. You'll never see me again. Force me to fight. And this time I'll kill you. I've learned all I wanted to know. I can feel the memories coming back. Your death won't change a thing. Go where you will. Just like that. No threats. No words of wisdom. Are you going or not? <sighs> Farewell, Geralt.
Thank you. 
Thank you. 